Hi guys, Tyler from TNT Garage and Performance looking at you today out here which really has not much to do with our project but while I'm waiting for my parts to get delivered because I'm putting a hitch and a wiring harness on this um, I did some exhaust work so I decided to do the cheap way delete the active exhaust because this is a 19 or newer and that worked good and I also did a no cut no weld resonator delete that I've kind of been developing so you don't have to cut your exhaust apart to get the same effect and if you don't like it you just remove it so let's see how this thing sounds and then let's get to it Well, there we go, guys. I think it sounds pretty good. Let me know what you think. On to the project. better part of the day for this and this is a pretty heavy duty hitch uh, you know more than you think for a challenger but I went with the uh, two inch receiver because I've got a pile of draw bars that way I don't have to buy new ones and uh, yeah I mean the main reason that way I could use this car for a few more things other than just A to B and hopefully I can get this on today get enough time to relive a picture from my childhood so let's get all the crap off here get the car up in the air and uh, see how we got to do this well all right we got the car up on some sticks see if that is in fact a 13 so the first thing you're gonna do I haven't looked at the directions yet but uh, we're going to remove the exhaust hangers and get this to drop down. So, 13 mil, looks like just one bolt per hanger, which will be nice. Oh, I gotta love new cars. Everything comes out nice. Uh, where's the other one? Right there. I think that's it. Oh yeah, that's free. And, oh, let's see. I'm going to crawl up in front of the axle here. And looks like I've got to pop the hangers here. So, I'll bring you guys in for that. So, you get the rear hangers off. And then the ones just ahead of the differential you need to pop out to get this to droop enough slide the hitch up now it also looks like we may or may not have to unbolt the rear fascia down here like i said i haven't looked at directions yet so i'm gonna get some goop a little bit of wd-40 on those rubber hangers and typically a pair of channel locks will do the job Got some WD. So the two hangers we're going for are these, just ahead of the uh, 
sub or differential mount here so get a little schmutz uh, WD all over those try not to spray myself in the face let's see if we can attack these with any kind of I actually grabbed my brake pliers maybe these will work oh I could have jacked the car up higher, but I like making things hard on myself. So, uh, let's try. Well, could you just, yep, almost, just about got it. Try the big screwdriver, which... Oh, all right, there it is. Oh. Man, these are... I really love these things. Yep, 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 oh, yep. There we go. There's one. Oh. The nice thing is the exhaust is now sitting directly on my chest, which it's good that the car has been off for a while. Otherwise, this would get pretty oh, uncomfortable you know seeing as it's so comfortable now so the uh, same thing over here maybe I can use the pliers on this side come on uh, could you how about we use the hook Kind of wish. Ow! I jacked the car more right about now. Ow! Oh, oh sweat in the eye feels really good. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see if the old brake players will do it. Uh, actually, sometimes you can just slip a screwdriver right through it, and there we go, get enough leverage, you can slide it down to actually just pry get out of the hanger just like just like just about there that all right uh, the exhaust is now hanging enough to where I think I could slide the hitch up so I'm gonna bring you guys back around and actually I really should unplug these just so I don't destroy the Wiring going to the active exhaust. Oh. Hit. That's comfortable. That's really comfortable. Oh, just let it sit on my face. There we go. Now we won't be pulling on that wiring harness. So let's get to the other side. Grab my hand. Okay, now we can probably pull the instructions out. We got bolts. Looks like we're gonna have the old spring deals, pull them into the hole. We got one threaded hole, yep. So on this particular Challenger, there is one threaded hole that will hold the hitch up. The other ones you need to drop in these carriage bolts with these bad boys, so. We're gonna look at which holes we drop them through. Well, that's that's pretty handy that they have a picture of the hitch telling you which one's the front and which one's the rear. You know, just in case. 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not dropping the entire exhaust. You kiss my ass. Yeah, this is for a car that that blah, 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 blah. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, there's an existing nut hole here. Uh, so, we're going to go one back right here. And that should be where we do it. Now, when you're... God, they give you enough of these things. Don't... Oh, I suppose so you can... Aha. I've got a lot of experience with these because back when I was in high school, I worked at the local Chevy dealership. And every Colorado that came in with the tow package, we had to put the hitch on. It was dealer installed along with running boards. So I have more than a fair share of experience with these. Now the nice thing, I they give you three of them so you could fish all three through and uh, not have to worry about pushing the nuts or the bolts back up into the frame rail. There we go. You just fish it through I typically bend the end of it so I can get it through easier. Now, you're gonna do the flag and the bolt separately up through the hole. You can't do them together. So, there we go. Locate, pull it through. It's, I don't know how well you guys can see it. I'll actually probably grab the camera and show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let me get one more in and then I'll bring you guys right next to me to show you how I'm doing this. Yeah, I mean, technically you should probably drop the entire exhaust, but hmm, I'm not doing that. That is way too much work on a newer Challenger because the only place where the exhaust breaks is right in front of the X pipe. So. I mean, as long as I'm not yanking down on it, there's enough flex in the pipe. It's stainless. It ain't gonna, ain't gonna do nothing bad. So, and of course, on the ends of these springs, you just thread her in, just like that. I always thread them in pretty good so they don't lose grip on the bolt. And same thing as before. I'm gonna bend the tip of this. So it finds the hole. There we go. Slide the flag up through. And then chase it with the bolt. Just like that. There we go. So let me get this one set up and I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. I mean, this is actually going a lot quicker than I anticipated. I remember helping my dad put a hitch on his, uh, what are those, KL Cherokee. That was not fun. Not fun at all. So, get that in there. Get the flag, get the flag. All right, now I'm gonna grab you guys and show you what I'm up to after I first bend the tip. There we go, come on. All right, you see how that bolt's dropped through there? So, oh, this is gonna be fun doing one-handed, but I'm used to doing things one-handed. So you can see, there we go, just like that. And since we gotta do these separately, we're gonna get the flag off the bolt, slide it up through the hole. Get that. Now, 
you're gonna have to kind of tip the bolt so it goes through so all that's in there and now you just simply pull the wire so those are our mounting bolts so you can see one there sorry i'm bouncing off the exhaust and my hands are kind of shaky because doing this stuff over my head really uh there's the threaded bolt right there so the next step uh pretty much put the hitch up so i'm gonna probably move you guys outside or off to the side and we're gonna just heave this hitch in now I don't only have all oh, one washer for the bolt I was gonna say Ow. Oh. this deceptively heavy piece of steel oh. it's gonna uh, gonna go up oh god that hurts hmm so we're gonna have to get in there. Yep. Put it right on my kneeking. So easiest way to do this is to go ahead and shove your wires through the hitch. I'm really trying not to pull down on the exhaust right now. That's why I got the thing on my pelvis here. There we go, there's one. Uh, well, bugger, it's like dealing with guitar strings, honestly. I could play the guitar, just not that well, so this might be difficult. Get our other one in. Oh, God. Get... There we go. Now, just Hulk Hogan this thing up in there. Oh. Use my belly. Where's that bolt? Who, knew, who needs yoga? This is a much better workout. Really, really working the glutes. Oh, will you just stretch? Go in your home. All right. Now, I'm going to lay it on a nut. Okay. Now, when you're threading these nuts, be careful not to push the bolt back through where you pulled it because uh, there's going to be a whole lot of cussing because you just took everything your guide wires off where are my other nuts there's one alright now same thing over here that you saw me do over there except with a little more struggle chest and my hips and my abs engaging all of the muscles oh come on all right it's really easy where's that other nut I actually get that one right in and it's cross-sided, but threaded. I find that or not. Ow! I found it because it drove right into my back. All right, final one. And then we can zippy doo dial all this stuff back. Core strength here. 
There we go. You might need to hold the bolts with your hand. All right. Oh. Whew. There we go. Now, I'm going to take a breather and get a drink of water, then we're going to zip them bolts up. All right. Impact. Let's steal the battery out of this one. Oh, God. Now we're going to see what will actually fit with my impact. Hopefully, we're, I might have to jack this up a little more, but get a wobbly socket on it. Yeah, I'm going to have to jack the car up just a touch, which, no big deal. Grab the floor jack, get my hat back on. Now be careful when you're going to the center cross member on these to not catch the differential because I'm pretty sure if you try lifting the car by the differential or a bolt on it, you might break it. So, make sure we're good. Get the tire lifted up. All right. Now we should be able to fit everything. I'm going to start with the nuts, just due to the fact that, uh, you know, reasons, I suppose. Yeah, we'll start with the bolt. The hell with it. Make sure we're going in. There we go. Now, one problem is when I'm going to tighten these up, they're going to want to push up through that flag. So I'm going to grab my big screwdriver and hold the nut down as I'm ramrodding it. So just like, yeah, something like that. Well, come on. I'm not that coordinated, clearly, but maybe I can use my brake tool to my advantage. Or just ever so gently put my fingers up there and get them pinched. Oh, there we go. Now it should engage. Yep. Well, that wasn't too bad so far. So, snug this one down. Oh, wobble sockets are. There we go. Tight and tight. So we'll move over to the other side, get those cinched up, and then we can put the exhaust back up. You know, honestly, this isn't that bad. I don't know why I put that cardboard protector on there, but I think it should work. So, I'm going to go ahead and cinch them up, and uh, we'll just keep it rolling. are necessary you're gonna have to get your death wheel out if you have factory tips just follow this line around because it's gonna interfere with the hitch so I'm letting the air compressor run up now and we'll get those zipped off
head done. Now we can throw these back on and cut your clamps up based on where we want them. Now, a quick note, when you do put the hitch on, the thickness of the flanges will drop your exhaust by that amount. So you can adjust your tips pretty much wherever you want them, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, we got a finger width of space on the other side and about to my knuckle on the top. Because in America, we don't use the metric system. So right around there. Right there. There we go. Now we can uh, we can drop her down and hook her up to something. I'm still waiting on the trailer harness, which is pretty straightforward. But we got a pretty solid hitch. I'm gonna finish up here and we'll hook up to something. Well, we got the hitch on and done. I need to wait for a new wiring harness because Amazon mislabeled the box. So send those back, get that set up, and then we're ready to tow. And honestly, this old pop-up really doesn't squat the car. It's These aren't that heavy. I mean, don't drive like a dink. You know, you'll be fine. More or less, any duty other than maybe a couple times a year camping, we're going to be uh, pulling my utility trailer so I can just kind of bebop stuff back and forth. But I'm kind of digging the uh, 2019 Challenger pulling a, well, half restored, it needs a bath, uh, 1970 10 foot Jayco pop up. Pretty neat. Well, there we go, guys. The hitch install really didn't take that long, doing it by myself. About an hour, uh, you know, of course, holding it up myself and getting the exhaust down. And of course, we had to trim the tips to make it fit. This hitch, I guess, was originally designed for the, the older exhaust cars. So like 15, 16 and older with the big suitcase mufflers out back. But it works well. I took the camper for a quick trip around the block, make sure that the hitch wouldn't fall off but seeing as I have it set like this I had to recreate a picture from my childhood that I've been talking about all video and that's back when we used to pull a pop-up an eight footer this is a 10 we used to pull a pop-up with an 86 Monte Carlo SS and this was you know 87 88 89 around that area so of course why not hook my 1970 pop-up to my 2019 muscle car so i mean obviously that hitch is there for many other things i could pull my utility trailer to bebop stuff back and forth to my shed without having to dig a pickup out and having that two inch receiver i can run a rack in the back uh, in case i go on a drag and drive event sometime i can keep my tires back there extra fuel all that stuff so yeah you might have looked at the video and go why on earth is he putting a hitch on a six speed challenger well because back in the day that's what you did so i'm just continuing the tradition even though i have trucks i like having fun this was actually the end result was amazing to me i love this so well there we go it really doesn't squat the car at all you know it's an rt it's got good suspension uh it doesn't you know moan and groan when i'm going over bumps so the hitch is solid on these but i mean that's kind of cool you gotta admit the camper really needs a path but you know if you want to see more stuff like this uh you can find me at tnt garage and performance on facebook tnt garage and performance on instagram and of course here on youtube don't forget i ask every time and i appreciate it, every one of you that do like share subscribe hey even comment below i'm happy to uh exchange with any of you guys engaging you is uh a lot of fun for me you know whether you have questions that 
if I'm right, if I'm wrong, you know, challenge my thinking. But that's pretty much it for today. It was actually a lot quicker project than I thought it would was gonna be. I'll do a quick short once I get the wiring harness because that's not gonna take long at all. And that's pretty much it for today. So remember, until next time, if it ain't broke, fix it till it is.